And I know a lot of people think that I was in a car accident, but I was walking and literally struck by a moving vehicle. I want to talk to you about when life throws obstacles and challenges your way. Many times we feel as though we can do something right and everything seems to go wrong. Kind of like this one time in my life when I looked both ways before crossing the street. My vehicle was just a few steps away from me and I still don't remember what happened. All I remember is trying to stand up and falling down and not being able to stand. And from that point on, everything kind of rushed and I ended up rushed to the hospital because I had just been hit by a car. And I know a lot of people think that I was in a car accident, but I was walking and literally struck by a moving vehicle. Um, when something like that happens, um, it's pretty shocking. And I should have preempted the statement with the fact that I am a very physically active person. I am a yoga instructor and my entire life revolved around teaching classes and moving. And I thought at that time that I was living in deep gratitude. But when your ability to run up and down the stairs is taken from you, and your ability to go to the gym taken from you, and my ability to teach classes, again, couldn't teach classes, either and I was told I needed to be on strict bed rest and I needed help to get up even to go to the bathroom um, for a couple of weeks until my body healed and then I had to go to physical therapy. The right side, I didn't die. <laughs> I was so grateful to be alive and when an experience like that happens I think that you have one of two options in the way that you react. You can either sit back and go, oh, woe is me, poor pity me. I can't go to the gym, I can't teach my classes, I can't go to the bathroom without be being helped, I can't run up and down my stairs. Or you can step back and say, okay, what can I learn from this experience? And I decided that I was gonna take all my yoga knowledge and use it internally during that time to heal. And that's exactly what I did. I allowed it to bring me into an even deeper gratitude for life because I didn't die that day. And I was incredibly grateful that, you know what, I just sustained some scrapes, um, a couple of fractured metatarsals, and a sprained MCL that was going to heal. That was the only thought that I allowed in my mind is that I was going to heal and I was going to go back to doing exactly everything that I did before the accident, and I did. I do everything that I did right before the accident, except now I live in much, much deeper gratitude because I never take for granted my ability to run up and down stairs. I never take for granted a single step or breath that I take or moment or hug or laugh. It's all important. And when I went to physical therapy, I told the physical therapist, it's like, this is the only time you're gonna see me here. She goes, oh, I know. And only did one round of physical therapy and like I said, went back to doing all of my normal activities and I feel as though every day is just an extra blessing and I have three-year-old twins now that are just hilarious that I get to enjoy. So every day, every single day is a blessing and so when those challenges and obstacles arise, you can either complain about them because life's going to fling crop our way. Whether you like it or not, that crop is going to get flung. And you can either complain about the smell or you can gather it up and use it to grow your garden, use it to grow your life. Allow the difficult, challenging moments where you feel like you don't know how you're going to move forward from that, allow it to help make you grow. Just step back and say, okay, how do I learn from this? How do I grow from this? And you will learn, you will grow. So instead of complaining, just step back and say, what can I learn? And I I can promise you there will be so many blessings hidden between the challenges that it'll make you so much more grateful for every single day that you're alive. My name is Sylvia Morales.